when you're getting a pecan orchard growing, you're not worried about training. You're trying to build more roots. We're at the Texas A&M Pecan Orchard today at, as part of the Texas A&M Pecan Short Course. The short course has been going on for over 30 years, and originally it was for county extension agents, bring them in for a week and educate them from A to Z on pecans. Today we have growers from all over the world. I mean, we have people here today from South Africa, Australia, Mexico. And so we will go over everything from A to Z on pecans, planning, training, establishment. We're also going to show them a lot of the equipment. We're going to show them that we've taken out old trees and we're trying to rejuvenate an old orchard. The industry is in a state of growth. We're actually growing. Uh, the price of pecans has come up in the last few years, and so there's a great interest in pecans, not only in Texas, but the rest of the world. And so we look for acres to increase in the future. And although my father-in-law did it for 35 years or so, things have changed since then. And so um, he had planted trees and stuff. He had like 10% success rate. And uh, so I came out about three or four years ago I took the short course and um, some of the things that they showed me there well I applied it and so I've planted 80 trees since then I have uh, two three and four year old trees and uh, I lost one I, I followed the instruction pretty good and uh, so I had a pretty well success rate now with the new processes you can make a lot of money on one acre this, this short course works for a guy that has 10 trees or a commercial grower that has 2,000 acres. So even though you have a small guy, the procedures for the small guy uh, are the same that the commercial guys use. So it works for both groups of people.